Make sure it was spinning so something was happening when that started. We are on Canal Saint Martin, which was voted for by patrons. We have Oliver and Pushan hanging out. And we're just going to take a walk along the, uh, along the, I keep wanting to say, I don't know why you're, the name of your podcast is the only it's thing that catchy. can come out of my mouth. It's yeah, catchy. The Airful Tower, I just can't stop saying it. So if you would like, we'll, I'll link to it at some point. I'll edit this, but you can get a shot of uh, Pushan's Instagram and then Oliver's podcast here in the not too distant future. How's it going, Steve and Ramag? Anyways, we'll you see, we'll see what fight. we got fans walking around. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk around, but if you've never seen the canal before, we're going to do just a quick, this is the beginning of it from Republique's just over here. So this is kind of the beginning of it. Hey guys, how's it going? And then we're going to walk all the way up this thing and then we're going to keep going because it goes all the way outside of Paris, which is pretty insane. So we're going to take full advantage of that. How's it going, Rob, Skunk, and Carly? Good to see you guys in Polygon. Polygon, that's a nice looking fridge. Not going to lie. Matilda as well. Okay, so we're going to keep going from here. Yeah, let's start walking. Maybe we'll start, th should we start this way? Yeah. And then cross back over over there? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Oh. Hey, so you, can you show the bottles at the bottom? Yeah, for sure. What are the... I don't know if you can Oh, excuse me, news height. All the way, oh wow, yeah, I never actually noticed that. There are a ton of bottles in the bottom of the river down there. Can you guys see that? That was a good catch. Even though it was cleaned, what, a year ago? Right, yeah. two years ago. Two. Hi, two Tulip. Years. It's insane. There's so much junk in this in this canal. Alrighty, moving along. We're gonna walk along. This is a great spot to hang out. It is beautiful here. And we are catching the end of sun, the end of sunlight. You can see the sun setting in the distance there, which is really, really nice. Sub Carlo it is beautiful around here. Cyril, we're gonna take full advantage of that as we go. With all these birds, and I don't know why, but the seagulls actually, there's always like a flock of seagulls here, not the band hanging out and freaking out. And so if you really, really need to get your bird uh, extravaganza on for whatever reason, I've noticed that every time I'm here, there's like, there's just a madhouse of seagulls going on here. Do not know what that's all about. So it's the crocodiles, Matthew says. See, people are referencing your podcast now because oh, I brought wow. it up. See, look at that. How's it going, Nicole? Do you know all of these subscribers? Um, I know a lot of these, I, I know a lot of these ones. I know Nicole, I know Matthew. I know most of the people that, well, I don't know them in person, but. I recognize a lot of these names for sure. Hi, Carol. I live in the 16th. Don't move to the 16th. It's really boring. Well, we were just talking about that. He lives here. We live in the 16th. What are uh, Oliver? What are the pros to living in the 16th over living in this neighborhood? I've never even been to the 16th. Are you serious? I don't even know where it is. Is it inside Paris? Or Barely. Is that in like northern France? It used something? to be a village of its own. Yeah. Oh, it's, well, uh, okay. So where are you exactly in the 16th? Over near. Uh, I can't. I'm not going to say that. No, but roughly. Uh, over, let's say in near Trocadero. Okay. So the advantages here is it's much cheaper. Yeah. Like a lot of young people. You, there's two of them sitting over there on the other side of the canal. Oh yeah, enjoying their enjoying their time on the canal. So in the summer you're going to have a, like like a thousand people sitting along the exact place where we're walking now, and it's they go to the supermarkets that you maybe just saw in the background across the canal. Yeah. They just sit down, have a glass of wine, have a bottle of beer, and some uh, bread and ham and cheese. And like you can't really do that around the 16th so much, you know? No, there aren't as many places to do that by any means. Although you can do, there are a couple of, there are a couple of really nice parks in the 16th. They are not the uh, out late drinking and snacking variety very much. So it's really very true. Hey, you asked, you asked for um, pub recommendations. Oh yeah. So this one here? This one is called the Corking Cavern. Oh, this is the Corking Cavern. So two, two other districts in the island. Cork, cork and cavern and it's a kind of like an expat uh expat bar yeah so you find it's all like irish and uh you know swedish and all those kind of people working there uh-huh and all the customers are the same really a few french people too i used to go there quite a lot i've heard of that place actually i've heard of that i've never been there before the uh comptoir generals up here too which is kind of the sneaky one we'll show you that when we go over we should actually let's cross it the the uh mobile bridge so the canal is still active like boats still go up and down the canal on a regular basis there are tours and there are barges but not up the river but not up the river right now because, not at all yeah because it's flooded. super flooded so they, they would not make it under the bridges but the, canal's not flooded. but the canal is under control thankfully as canals often are and so uh, you can actually take a tour along these and the lock system is still active and there's a bridge up here that actually swings out of place um to open up for the boats and if we're lucky which we won't be this lucky today but if we're really lucky we might get to see it in action we're gonna go ahead and take a look at oh yeah 
Make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. I think the record right now is about 85 likes in a live stream, what's I think. That? What's 85 likes? So it tracks the likes up here. We oh, can yeah. see people liking in real time. We've just jumped up to 20. Thank and you guys. There's the, there's the Comptoir General. We walk past it. Oh yeah, so the Comptoir General, thank you for the reminder, is a bar that's just over here. You have to sneak through that door right there and then you go back. You don't have to sneak. You it's can behind. walk through like you own it. I prefer sneaking. <laughs> you can walk sneak through like you own it. Bar. I sneak into everything around here. Um, but anyways, if you go in there, there's a really, really, really cool bar just past there. They've got a pirate ship. The rum bar is literally a pirate ship. Oh yeah, this wall is always changing up the art. The art is always looking different. And we got some dead fish. Oh, all the way at the bottom there. I thought dead fish floated. This is actually surprisingly clear though. I feel like I can, there's not a lot of like vegetation in here like I was expecting to be honest. All right, let's see. I'm gonna try and catch up on the comment section here really quick. Uh, Wow, there's a whole conversation going on that I'm not able to track here. Yeah, the 16th is a fairly posh area, which is, you know, good or bad, depending on how you look at it, I suppose. Everyone wears top hats, don't they? I, I, yeah, I had to leave my top hat at home because once you leave the 16th, if you're wearing your top hat, you get mugged. Yeah. My monocle, however, I always keep with me. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, Carlo, glad you could check this out. Hey, Steve, glad you're having some morning coffee with us. Oh yeah, things have really grown since since the last time I did one of these, I guess. They just keep growing. Uh, sorry, let's see. Did I, Carol's gonna be an au pair, that's cool. Hey, tell Steve if he wants to have a coffee here in Paris. Paris. Yeah. It's a really good spot to stand there. Ah, uh, yeah. The, the Hotel Citizen. Ten Bells? Exactly. There's a good one. Oh, and also, actually, so this is a really, really cool bookstore, but if you go inside, there's a Space Invader inside this bookstore. Really? It's, an, it's about 12 years old, it's one of the originals. Can we see it from outside? Um, yes, we can sneak over. Don't get hit by the bike. Sounds wonderful. So if you go in, you'll see all the way in here. Oh, sorry. See if it's okay. See that plant? It's just just underneath that plant. You can see it there. That blue guy right there on the wall through the plant. Okay. There's a story to this Space Invader as well. And the owner. Oh, sorry. Gonna switch cameras around. Try not to get run over by a garbage truck. The owner of this bookstore. Um, told us the story. We came in one morning, my friend Rachel and I, came over early one morning. I guess we want to go this way. And he let us in and we were kind of looking around because she said there was a space invader there, we wanted to check it out. He told us the story that basically there was a woman that used to work in there. Uh, there was a register. Did we lose Pushan? We lost him. Where'd Pushan He's stealing go? the space invader. There he is. No, oh, there he is. Um, that's fair enough. It's really hard. It's really hard not to go into that bookstore. It's super cool. Uh, the owner, there was a woman that used to work there, and there, I guess, the register was in the back corner, uh, like a good ten years ago, twelve years ago. And Space Invader, the artist who I am kind of obsessed with and who I think is just generally amazing, had a crush on that woman. Oh yeah. And so he went in and he put that Space Invader up, and it's looking down, so it's like looking over her while she works. Creepy. Yes, which is either really creepy or really cute, depending on how you interpret it. But apparently, we don't know for sure that it worked out or not, because we asked him, so, like, what's the end of that story? What happened? And he was like, well, that's a story that I'm just not able to tell. You know, kind of like, that was where the story ended. Hey, can, I, can I offer an alternate version to what that what really happened? Yes. Some creepy dude who liked the girl that worked in there just came in with a bunch of mosaic tiles and just tried to impress her by saying he was Invader. Because I feel like Invader wouldn't give away his... Uh, anonym, anonymity. Anonymity. Anonymity that, that easily? It doesn't seem right. There's the skeptical, there's the skeptical take on that story right there. What's the true story? Will we ever know? Yeah, I don't know. But it was a really good story. I, I, like, I like your story. Well, it's good. Well, and I think, I think that, I think they've like been together. I don't think that it was just like a voyeuristic thing. And he does also, uh, you know, a lot of the ones that he puts up, the bigger ones especially, he talks to the building owners before he does it. Does he? And gets permission. A lot but of street artists no do. no one knew who he was and that was the whole mystery of it. Very, very few people do, yeah. Okay. Well, but I mean, he does he does exhibitions and stuff, so. Yeah, he did for last year, yeah. 2017. So art galleries definitely know the general public. Wow. Yeah, there are definitely people that do. If the cops wanted to find him, I think Maybe they could. What did we forget to point out? Here, behind me, have you seen the film Amelie? Uh, Yes, but it's been a long time, yeah. So she's skimming stones. One of the things she loves doing is skimming stones along the uh, the canal. Yeah. It's just up there. This, this is, is the, the spot, huh? Uh, access, but oh. uh, she has special 
So am I talking to here or here? You're talking, you're talking to, talking wait, to wherever you feel like talking, yeah. So you guys, if you haven't seen Emily, watch it, great film. Right here, she's skimming stones because it's one of the things she likes to do in the city of Paris. There you have it. There you go, yeah. I love it. I didn't know that that was that spot, actually. I've been thinking about doing a, uh, I've been requested multiple times, actually, that I do like a wander through Paris and show the highlighted spots of all, like, Amelie moments yeah, yeah. kind of a thing. I need to watch it. I haven't seen the movie in a really long time, actually. I watched it again recently because I, I figured I'm seeing a lot of the things that were in the movie. And uh, so it's like, you might as well... Oh, you're good. I think you'd like to watch yeah, it again. I need to watch it again. You I, know what you should do? What's that? Um, in the summer, I'm going to do live, uh, live uh, radio shows up in that chaos thing. Really? You should come be one of my guests. I'd love to. You want it? Yeah, that'd be great. I would love it. Right there, sounds good. Can even turn it into a, a double live stream you at can some bring point. Your fans I'm down. Yeah. This, if you didn't, if you didn't catch, he uh, Oliver runs the Earful Tower, which is a podcast, and he's got his uh, alligator or his crocodile tote bag. He's cro plates. Croc Monsieur with his plates. Um, but that tote comes from one of his episodes. Possibly, he claims the best episode he's done, and I don't know because I haven't listened to all of them. But it was it's the best one you've heard. Probably. It's the best one I've heard yeah. for sure, and it's a great. It is a great episode, and basically the premise of it was that. You were going around asking people if they believed in the beaver. That's right. That lives in the canal. This very canal. This so this section right here. It was just where we began, actually. Right. Okay. I was going to point it out, but I felt like you had your thing going. Nah, that's fine. So that was at the beginning of the beaver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. But I'd seen the beaver. I saw this big head, and I was like, let's do this sort of Loch Ness monster story about the beaver. And I was right. Going around talking to people. Have you seen the beaver? Have you seen the beaver? And then I talk. I'm giving away the story. But let's go for it. It's though. special for your for your viewers. And I talked to this old lady. And I said, hey. What do you think about the canal? Have you seen any animals in there? Hoping she'd say that she'd seen the beaver. And she goes, yes, uh, I've seen two crocodiles in there. And I was like, what do you mean you've seen two crocodiles? She says she released them. This elderly lady released two baby crocodiles into the canal. And so that was my big season finale. Yeah, it was a so great finale. We Wait. focused on the crocodiles and just talked to all the experts and what could they, if they're still alive, and could it be mysteries of the canal? Yeah, I was gonna say it wasn't even just about. I mean, you actually went to like a mayor's office. Yeah, like you went deep. It's like investigative journalism at its finest, really intense. Okay, sorry. Let's see. Just catching up on comments. Uh. Oh yeah, see, people know you right there. Catherine Bell knows you. Oliver G. Wow, Catherine She's even Bell. singing to you. Catherine Bell. Oliver, do you have a favorite Dublin pub? Uh, favorite pub in Dublin? A, a pub in Dublin or a Dublin pub in Paris? Let's be clear here what we're talking yeah, well, about. Well, we'll see, Steve. You got to clarify your question, apparently. Uh, let's see. Hazel Annie, it's good to see you from Beijing. Wow. Wow. Good to, good to see you in here. And Saturina's coming in May, it looks like. Lots of people. I and know my favorite Dublin pub. Kim Clark got super excited about uh, Amelie, by the way. Yeah. It's the Cork and Kevin. <laughs> in, you know why? in Dublin? No, in, in Paris. Oh, got it. It feels like the prices of the pints of beer are Dublin and Dublin, Dublin. Oh! <laughs> He's a pun master, this one, too. You gotta watch out. Bouchon, what's your favorite bar or pub along the canal? Uh, along the canal, I think Pouton is probably my favorite. Yeah? Although, I'm not a big fan of their new. Uh, the pirate ship they put in the back there. You don't like the pirate ship, huh? No, kind of. It's it's a bit too much for me. Uh, I've I never the vibe before. I never seen it pre pirate ship, so. Oh man, it was it was like super open, empty. You went up, you had the the thrift shop up there. Uh, that's a good spot here, but yeah. I usually go more towards Colonel Fabien and Belleville. Yeah. Yeah. Drink here. yeah, that makes sense. That's more We're heading up towards at the not the very top of the canal here, but getting close to the top of the canal as far as Paris is concerned is a brewery it's actually a french brewery that's here that's really nice called pan am it's good but there's a bunch of spots right up around here a couple of tap houses what's the name there's um atlantis atlantis L atlantis I yes think, atlantis that has a really good uh really good taps if you're looking for good beer as well so there's actually a lot of really really tasty stuff up here as well as uh pavillon de cano which we'll probably get to as well they make a decent coffee. It's really the price is good, and you can it's, sit in the bathtub. You can sit in the bathtub across from your favorite friend. I did American accent for you. Oh, that was nice. I yeah. would say bathtub. Bathtub. I think people will attract. We got people from Beijing in here. I think we've got quite the international group. Let's see. Shout to Monique, please. Oh, your favorite bar? Which one's that? Pointe Ephemère. Pointe Ephemère. I've never been. To, I've never been to it. Oh man! I've I've seen it from a distance, but I've never been inside because it's also a concert venue, isn't it? 
That's actually where I did the finale show. Oh really? That's where I hosted. That's where I, I did the crocodile story live at that exact bar. Should we? Yeah, because it's right next to the canal. I figured it would scare everyone. Scare me. Oh, he, they wouldn't want to go home. Well, I mean, we're like two meters from the canal. So stay, keep drinking and stay here. Yeah, stay safe. Problem is, if it, you had a, if you had a lot of Australians in the audience, they're probably like, yeah, and just like left. <laughs> <laughs> That's the danger. Everything in Australia is out to kill you. I feel like the the tolerance level of the average Australian for poisonous creatures, or venomous creatures, is significantly higher than that of Same as anyone else. Alcohol. Is it? Yeah. Why not? <laughs> And meat pies. Exactly. Um, yeah, let's go for it. Oh, fuzzy cat down. Oh. I'm using the microphone that uh, Jim sent me. Fuzzy cat just popped off. Ah, oh, the whole microphone's coming out. Technical difficulties. We'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsors. I think we're back in business. The sponsors are the pat uh, patrons, right? Yeah, so this is uh, the reason that we're doing this walk and the reason we chose Canal San Martin is because my patrons voted where they wanted me to go for a live stream walk. Last time they voted for the Latin Quarter. How many people voted? 60? Woo. Something like that? That's cool. I don't know. So Yeah, right around 60, I think. And 54% this time voted for Canal San Martin. Oh, man. Yeah. Got some flowers showing up. Although it's like the coldest couple of days we've had yet right now. A little premature on that that tree hopefully it works out fine for them all right back to seeing what you guys have been saying in here hey sophie how are you doing i love how you guys are asking for shout outs but i'm not really shouting anybody out i'm just like reading out loud your comments what's up blake and marisol hey marisol good to see you and rad cow i don't know you yet but i'm sure i'll get to know you nice to see you in here hey catherine Okay, so a bunch of people, hopefully I caught you. Sorry if I didn't, there's a lot of comments coming in and it's kind of hard to know how to get all, all through them. Paul's shouting out from Kansas, that's good. Hopefully you're not actually shouting. Unless there's, you don't have neighbors close by, in which case shouting's probably fine. Okay, this is a shot up the canal from where we're at now. That bar that Pouchon was just talking about is just up here on the left with a giant space invader on top of it that I've never managed to get. Nice score. And I won't be able to get it now either because I'm live streaming, but one of these days. Hey, you got a lot of energy, Jay. Do I know? Yeah, how do you get all your energy? Uh, I I'm don't serious. know. You're, you're pumped. I like it. Ah, it's good. Well, I also, I went for a run this morning. Pushan and I were just talking about this. I went for a run this morning, and then I helped him move all of his stuff into his photo studio. Yeah, thank you for that. No worries. And, yeah, I wasn't looking for a plug, sorry. <laughs> but I just, like, did all this stuff, and all I've eaten today is, like, a little bit of fruit. So you're, you're, you're hungry. I think so. Before we turned it on the camera, I was very much thinking like, oh man, all I want to do is eat. And now, I still just want to eat, but I don't know, I'm excited. Excited to be here hanging out with you two. Yes, sir. Ask away. Does it give you like anxiousness that you're not going to edit this like the way you edit all your other videos? Not at all. Does it feel like a total freedom that you can just press live? And you yeah, it's kind of nice. It feels casual. I feel like we were talking about this before we started. Hey, Holly from Seattle. That's my hometown. Hey, Holly. Flash trash. Flash, the yeah, flash trash. Art. Seattle. I'm from Washington, not Seattle exactly, but I tell people I'm from Seattle because if I say where I'm really from, they'll never know. Even saying Washington's misleading. I have to say Seattle. Right, it's Washington, right. they think DC. Um, yeah, what we were talking about before we got started was that like the only thing I feel the pressure on for the live stream is that you have to have energy and you have to keep talking the whole time because people tune in and who knows if people are tuning in just right now for the first time and they have no idea what's going on. Hopefully it's interesting enough that they stick around for a minute. But it is really something you do more for like your hardcore subscribers, yeah. patrons. So like they're, they're, they just want to come and hang out for a little bit. This could be a dead end. Yeah, let's walk this way. You want to go up? This we should be able to get out down there, but we can go up if you want. There's usually a lot of bums here hanging out, so it's probably not the right side of the canal. The other one's better. All right, I mean, we'll we'll hop up. The see. see them with their fire over there? The, the fire. The oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. You've got like a, a bonfire going on. Okay, well, we'll just jump up here. Foot action for those of you. Since we're talking about editing, like the vlog, that space invader right there is the one I've never gotten up there. You see it on top of the right above those five squares. It's so blurry, but it's a lightning bolt. We'll see if we can see it better from up close. All right, turning this around. What's up, motorcycle guy? Alabama and 
Mokateo, oh yeah, obviously. There's Jason there. Jason's another Washington native tuning in. He will just jump up off this. That looked way less dramatic to you guys than it felt when I did it, I have a feeling. So this is the, the Pompier station, firefighters. That ends in a bar that you were talking about, right? Yeah, so in the summer you'll have people lined up outside, kind of just hanging out by the canal because it's super packed inside. And it's just a great spot to get some sun some drinks and like some, some food as well and like there's always some art installation there as well so it's uh yeah definitely a good place to check out no, that's awesome. Awesome. and like to the left there that's the concert oh yeah there are some pretty big concerts here actually some pretty big i my friend holly was just telling me more about that last time we were up here i check that out there are some tent cities going on down here so do be cautious i suppose in the evening but um hi sure it's to my fine. brother tom in australia is he watching? I just told him to watch. Oh, nice. Hi, Tom. Hi, Tom. We love you, Tom. Hi, we do love you, Tom. Oh, is this Tom the marine biologist? No, oh. it's James the marine biologist. Uh, he's your brother-in-law, the marine biologist, right? No, he's my brother as well. Oh, he is? Okay. Plenty of brothers out there. Lots of brothers. Only Tom that's, I assume, subscribing to you right now. Right. Dude, subscribe, Tom. There he is. Thomas G. <laughs> There's the man right there. Oh, what a Tom, man. We're, we're connected across the world. So. We're gonna walk through here. We're gonna go uh, past Stalingrad and up to the second half of our canal bit where we're unfortunately probably gonna lose Pushan. Yeah, I have some Vietnamese fur soup waiting for me at home. That's no that nothing out. to apologize for. <laughs> I'm jealous actually. Uh, and then uh, Oliver and I will make it all the way up to the top before I lose him to his lovely girlfriend. Fiance, thank you. Fiance, that's right, congratulations. Have you told, well, have you said that publicly? Not really. Okay, well now it's public. Oh, that, yeah. no. <laughs> That's uh, that's on. <laughs> all right. I hope so. I wanted to give you a scoop. Don't don't well, tell anybody. Scoop, that's it. That's the scoop. Yeah. This man right here is recently engaged. That's and true. I was trying to play it cool, but uh. No, no, I won't let you play it cool. All right, cool. Congratulations. Let's call this what it is. It's an engagement. Congratulations. Thank it is an engagement. You. Thank you. Cool is what it hey, is. When you come on my show, I want you to save a scoop for me. Too. Okay, I'll save a scoop for you. I got lots of scoops. There are lots of things I haven't told people. All right, so we're getting up here. See the trains coming up. We'll just cut across here. This is a uh, the Mormons hanging out. You can also see these cool, these awesome like uh, trucks that have been tagged like crazy down here that are always parked here. I can see S Champagne. Thanks for listening. Oh yeah? I'm reading over your shoulder. Yeah, you should. Wait, who is that? San Diego. Oh, Champagne, yeah. You should keep listening to his podcast. Yeah, he, he, yeah, he did tell her first. Look at that. Look at all these congratulations coming in for you. That's so sweet. Right? You got some nice uh, subscribers. I do. Today. They're pretty amazing, actually. It's a good, it's a good bunch. Okay, we'll... We got some Super Bowl, I think, too. Some Super Bowl. That's right. I've been, I requested, we've had a number of different requests for a Super Bowl uh, coverage. But Super Bowl doesn't start until like 12.30 here tonight and trying to get back into actually being a productive member of society next week. So don't think I'm going to stay up that late. We were, we've discussed it multiple times. Are you trying to, are you looking for your exit? Yeah, I'm going to go through there. Yeah, I was going to say this isn't the, uh, oh, is this Jaurès actually? This is Jaurès. You can probably get across here. This is the sneaky part where I die on live YouTube. I'm trying to cross the street illegally. Maybe we won't do that quite yet. Do make sure, I, I feel ridiculous asking for this, but we're trying to break the record. If you want to hit the like button, get us closer. I'm feeling we're gonna get close. We don't have quite as many people watching at once today though. So we'll see if we get there. Last time I think it was 85 likes was the record we got. So this is the uh, boring middle portion where we're just trying to navigate traffic and not die. But soon we'll be back on the water side here in just a minute. Just hang in there. You can check out this McDonald's situation over here as we cross. Bushan, you heading out? Nice to meet you. I listened to that alligator hey, thank you. episode. The crocodile episode? Crocodiles are. Yeah, dude. Enjoy the rest of your tour. Thank you. See you Bye. See you, man. All right, here we go. Dodging across. Then there were two. Then there were two. And then we're going to. That's actually not enough if there are two crocodiles. That means they can get both of us. That's true, one each. It was, that's actually why I invited both of you, was to serve as the decoys in case the crocs came. Clever. Yeah, trouble, figured right? it would be. Yeah, now I'm in trouble. Hopefully one of them is not hungry. Hey, Felisa. Hey, Felisa. Is it normal to port, have porta potties? What was your question? Is it normal to have porta potties in the street or is that a construction area? That was a construction area. 
It's not particularly normal. I think it's actually because there's a big um, uh, the homeless population. Uh, yeah. So that might be part of why they have those up there. Do do do. Oh, I'm glad you went and enjoyed the coffee at the Peloton. Oh, it it is a good spot to go. Natalie, we are currently. That's where we met, Jake. That is where we met, actually. That's where I met this guy. Was at the Peloton. It's a good spot for little expat meetings. We are currently in jo at Jaurès. I was going to show you, but I'll just show you on my shoulder. Jaurès. It's a metro stop. This right next to Stalingrad. The rotund over here uh, is right between the two of them. And this is the continuation of the canal over here, which is where we're heading right now. We'll give this a go here in a second. It's a very lively area, especially during the summer. It's like Oliver was saying, during the summer, this is a, an area where I used to go with my friends all the time to play petanc, have a drink, have a picnic. It's really, really nice. Do we want to just walk straight? Should we go in the middle here? Let's go in the middle and then dodge back out. So we can show you the couple of these around town actually so you can see this guy here oh hey Jeremiah good to see you buddy sorry hopefully the microphone's not too bad it keeps popping out so there's a disco no the light was flashing oh. I was like man it's just a light that didn't work this place is definitely upgraded since I was last year disco so you can see this whole area gets just filled with people in the summer especially there are a lot of, there are a fair number of people out here right now and then there's a movie theater up here we're gonna walk by Refugees, French. Yeah, really? Is that what's going on? That's awesome. So these guys are learning French over here. That's really cool. I didn't know they were doing that over here. This is a really, it's really actually a challenging area for that. Like, it's not, I don't even know exactly what all they've done with that situation because they used to, for a while, there was like a huge refugee city under the raised train line behind us. And then they moved them all out, but did they move them out of the city or were they, they end up moving them? They moved them on and they moved them around the whole country, but a lot of them come back because they want to get to Gardenau for access to uh, Calais and then on to England. The oh, point. they're trying to get to England. Yeah, they want to get to England. A lot of them have family there. Uh, interesting. So they speak more like they speak English than they speak French or anything. So okay. they think it's kind of like an El Dorado promised land, which often it isn't. Maybe sometimes it is very tough, like you said. Yeah, it's really hard. It's a really hard situation. People do ask me about that, and I was—I actually did not know the, that they were trying to get to England. Yeah. So we're crossing back over the canal. This is another lock below us, and you can it's see. Nice. You can't be upset with a view like that. No, you? this is beautiful. It's one of my favorite parts of the city. It really isn't. He's saying that it's not a problem. England's not a promised land. It's wet and rainy. That's, that's true, <laughs> it's also man. true. And after, okay, we're not going to go there actually. So the. Uh, you can see we're gonna head down here. This is Amka De has two movie theaters one here and one over there and during the summer I think it's just during the summer. There's a ferry that runs between them So if you want to go to a movie and it's not in this one, but it's over in that one Just hop on the ferry and go over and watch the movie over there Which is really ridiculous and also kind of fun all at the same time and you can see how the lock system goes over here You can see how this one's full down here and then that one's at the lower level down there I got a cool story for you. Yes, One please give it. Drained this canal out. Yep. So you know, I used to work as a journalist. Yep. I'm I'm not surprised. I did not know that, but I'm not surprised. Okay, so I was crossing this exact bridge. And yep. I looked down, and the water was very low and then dropping quickly as I was draining. And I saw a um, pistol. Really? It was a pistol. And I went and I, I took a picture of it. I went and contacted a policeman nearby. I was like, yep. dude, there's a police uh, a pistol down there, like a gun. Yeah. And then they went and checked it out. I took a picture, put it on Twitter. That story was out in the news around the world really quick. Wow, I yeah. bet. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolutely. They found all kinds of stuff in here. I think there was something like, what? There was uh, there were scooters. I think with Veilib, yeah, there was 100, something. Uh, one hundred. Only one hundred. I thought it was actually more. No, no. But there were a hundred Veilib bicycles. So the bikes, the public bikes you can take and ride through the city. There were a lot of them in the bottom of this thing that they found when they drained it. A body too, you said, right? No, some people think there was a body, but, but there wasn't. not confirmed. I don't think there was not a confirmed, body. so no that body. That was my favorite story of the whole like past three years. It's so interesting, it's like revealing secrets. What's all going, city. yeah, absolutely. It hadn't been drained for 15 years And before. you think it'll be another 10 before they do it again? Something like that, yeah. yeah. Enough time for crocodiles to grow. And enough time for crocodiles to get nice and big and get over these locks. <laughs> uh, let's see, da -da -da. you remember this last year about the, the pistol? It was a couple years ago oh and hey tell your wedding the wedding oh the we have uh, some wedding planners watching right now okay. that would love to connect with you in get case in you touch. need one get in touch, get in touch with the uh, oliver g you can find him at the earful tower yep. very easily earful as in like get an earful that's right and uh here's another space invader here i already have this one 
What do you mean you have it? I've already gotten this one. But what do you mean you've got it? Like you showed it before? Or you... Right, so in my in my vlog, uh, I tend to, well, there's an app called Flash Invaders. Oh, I didn't know that you were doing that. Yeah, so you get the app and then you zap them and you get points. And uh, I tend to show it in my vlog. I found a new one earlier today, actually. There it is. And I can't show you guys the app right now, obviously, because we're live streaming. Hey, but have you seen the one in the drain yeah, pipe named Republic? I don't know. Secret oh, one. that's uh, no, but you'll have to show me that one. I definitely want to get that one. Please do. Oh man, I wish I would have gotten that one when we met. So here's that movie theater I was talking about, MKD, and then there's the other one over on the other side. And there's it's pretty fun because this whole area is actually um, there are a bunch of these boats, and a lot of them have restaurants on them, especially farther up. And so you can come and you can sit on a like an old school barge, yeah, yeah. you know, Niche. and have, yeah. And then you can just sit and have dinner. And that's actually, I had Thanksgiving on one of these ones. Oh really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't a Thanksgiving meal that we ended up having, but sorry, my, my right shoulder is getting kind of tired. So I'm trying to switch it over. We are, we're not going to Pan Am, but we're headed that way right now. So it's up here, not far from us. Oh yeah, the draining of the canal was just a couple years ago. So, fact for you. what's the fact? So this Pan Am Brewery is run by an Australian guy. Is it really? Yeah, same guy that started Cafe Oz. Really? That's yeah. definitely a step in the right direction. It's all right, I love Pan Am. Pan Am's great. It's a really good spot. We'll show you guys Pan Am. It's a great little brewing company. They have some really good beer. It's quite so we're getting kind of fuzzy, lighting, isn't it? Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. We might uh, got to be careful. Walk in here with Oliver. We're gonna fall in love or something. Watch out. I know he's. He's engaged, but he's not married yet. Uh, let's see. Just checking to it. Yes, the water level is going down a little bit on the river, but not a ton yet. You missed the RERC, don't we all? Uh, yeah, I, I did not know that it was run by the guy who's doing Cafe Oz. That's really cool. Michael Kennedy. In case you're watching, Michael. Michael Who Kennedy. Knows? Maybe he's a watcher. Of he could be. You never know. I don't think so. But I plugged knows. his. I plugged his restaurant a couple times. Yeah. So hopefully, I went to I. I have a whole, actually a whole other string of stories that are completely unrelated, so we'll skip them, but I'll have to tell you in a little bit. We're going to get up to, these are like the Patonk Fields. I don't know if you call them Patonk Fields or Courts along the way. Australians are definitely having a good impact on the coffee scene here, yes, to answer that. But there's, it's, they are drinking a lot of it. Oh, uh, let's see. I spent two and a half years working in that building. Which one, this one? Level, what like, what did you do in that building for two and a half years? Journalist. How long have you been in Paris? Three. Wow. What, what, who were you being a journalist for in that so building? There's a website called The Local France. Oh yeah. Uh, France is news in English. Europe's yeah, yeah. news in English. So I was working, uh, I was just writing the news up there. Ah, is that the one that I ended up on a list in? That's exactly right. That's cool. So I would have written that list six months ago, but I don't work there anymore. But they don't so work there anymore, do so it. no more. Now that was my friend Emma. Thanks again, Emma, for putting that together. She was actually at uh, the birthday party I went to last night too. So what we're gonna do is flip this around. These are Patonk, I guess we'll call them courts over here. So you'll see little old French men playing Patonk sometimes, but actually it's usually younger people that are out here playing. Um, and then during the summer, this is where the, uh, like the secondary beaches of Paris end up getting set up. So the main ones are down on the river. Did you swim here? I did not, did you? Yeah, yeah that's what you're saying actually. It's nice. I love it. Is it, uh, but did the guy who, did the government official who opened it swim in it? I doubt it. Yeah, that's the, that's the real question. I just didn't let any of the water go in my mouth. That is a good, that's a better way of going about it. I don't know that I trust this enough to swim in it yet. But you know, I went out on paddle boards, like outside the pools they set up. I was yeah. out there in the water. Oh, it'd be great. Oop, speaking of water. I miss the uh, water. Me too. That's, I, that's why I really love the canal, actually. The canal and the river are both really nice because I lived on the ocean for like three years. Yeah. I lived on a ship. We crashed there for a minute. I think we're back. You got a good battery. Yeah, it's doing really well. We're still at 42%, and wow. I think we started at like 70 something. Wow. We're back, can you guys see us? Pretty sure, I saw somebody, Louise said, oh no. Yeah. Which I think, oh, there we go, we're back. Okay, Catherine Bell says we're back. But you can check out these boats. Well, we were just talking about something completely boring and unrelated, I'm sure. Welcome back, everybody, welcome back. Nobody freaked out, hopefully. Go back to your morning coffees. Right. I feel earlier I was feeling like we should cross this one, but I think we should go past Pan Am and cross and get a good shot in the middle of that bridge up there. That'll be a good spot to go. There's a lot of really good stuff up here, you guys. This is, back when I first moved to Paris, this is, I spent a lot of time on this canal because I have some friends that live just on the other side of like these buildings over here. Right. And so during the summer we would come, we would sit, have beer, nice. play patonk. Oh, yeah. And it's just great because it, it's not comfortable at all because you end up sitting on the edge, like on the cement here. But, and this is packed, like this, there's nobody here right now, but during the summer, this will be, you'll be stepping over people 
to get through here. Yeah. And so we come in and just has so many good memories of just coming and sitting here and enjoying the warmth, watching the sun set. Yeah. The sun doesn't set till like 10 p.m. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Just kind of like warm, unlike right now, Don't which is feel phenomenal. Living the dream in Paris sometimes. I do. Yeah. I love this. is the only place in the world I want to be. What brought you here? Ultimately, it's a job at the local. Really? Yeah, I used to work for. The, here's a story. How? I used to work for the local Sweden. So wow. I, lived, I lived in Sweden for four years before this. Okay. Yeah. And how did you get that job? Uh, Were you dating a Swedish girl at the time? Yeah, I was. Yeah. He's, he's one of those classics that uh, he moves for love. No, but that's not how I got the job. I got the job because uh, I wrote a blog about learning Swedish and I liked it. And oh, I, yeah. Uh, I, there was a job going and I started as a junior and then worked there for like three years and then there was a job in the Paris office. I was like, all right, sign me up. That's the way to do it right there. So I moved for love to Sweden and then for the job to Paris. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Wow. It's a much more like adult way of going about it than I did it. How did you do it? I wanted to be here. No, that's I mean. <laughs> came for the city. Right, I came for the city. I came. Oh, came because I, I love this place. <laughs> we just dropped your phone. Maybe. For anyone that doesn't know what just happened. Maybe. <laughs> Caught it too. Um, trying to do the left-handed thing here. Sorry, it's so blurry right now. Um, hey, Ben. Ben lives around here. Well, welcome to your neighborhood indeed. Glad we could, uh, thanks for hosting us. Appreciate it. Um, yeah, I mean, for me, like I, when I, I've just always, I just told this story actually, like the, my learning French story on my vlog, for those of you who are tuning in randomly, who haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. Uh, but you'll see a video about how I learned French. And part of that was, I always just wanted to be here. Like I've always wanted to be in France for some reason. Yeah. I can't put a, can't put a thumb on why, but, um, studied in high school, studied in college, tried to get here in college, ended up in Italy instead. Sure, sure. Got here finally to teach English immediately after college and was in Nice. I was like, well, this is good, but this isn't really what I wanted. And then came to visit Paris and was like, oh my gosh, yep, yep. this is where I wanted to be this whole time. Mm -hmm. And so- She seduced you. She did. With that charm. The city, the yeah. city of light seduced me with her sparkles. And so- Like Medusa. Like Medusa. And I've been a stone statue in her, the midst of her embrace ever since. Whoa, was that a haiku? Her cold, cold embrace. And so, um, but yeah, I just always wanted to be here. I just love this city. I feel at home yeah. here, you know. And uh, do you, are you hoping to be here for the long term? Or? Uh, I ain't got no plans to leave. That's a good, that's I mean, a good yeah, response. I'm trying to build my empire. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's... You got to build it somewhere. Yeah. Yeah, right. Might as well build it here. Empires weren't built in a day. That's yeah, what they say. Not at all. And during the, this is like a resurgence, I feel like, in Paris's... Like with the food, like what we're gonna show you, so Pan Am's just up here. So you can see Pan Am here, ignore the Holiday Inn it's over there. The but uh, yeah, exactly. The Pan Am is the brewing company we're talking about. And this is Pavillon de Cuno, which is like a really nice coffee shop. Uh, they do some restaurant stuff as well, um, but it's just, you guys have seen me going to both of these places. But the rise of this kind of stuff in Paris is fairly recent. And there's just a lot of really good stuff going on in the city between both, I think the arts and food, um, yeah, I don't know. I think it's a really, really good time to be in Paris. I feel Especially like, now they put this glass exterior up. This here. is pretty cool, actually, with like the little lamps underneath it. It's a really, really cool place. And it, it's just like walking into somebody's house. He wasn't kidding when he said you could eat in the bathtub. They've got a table built over one of the big bathtubs. I don't recommend you eat in your own bathtub. Yeah, right. But you can eat in their bathtub. Now, there's another space invader right there. Hey! Yeah, I know we're like, we're, all of them except the one you just told me about are, basically. I'm not gonna tell you the real secret no, where it is. No, you gotta tell me where it is. I'm dying to know. And uh, some more street art actually over here. Sorry, we're flipping the camera around a lot. This is a really beautiful area. There's lots of cool stuff. Hey, you know what? I saw someone about four days ago painting a new thing. So what's around this corner on this wall is yep. brand new. Oh yeah? Let's have a look. No, wait, no, the next bit. <laughs> I was gonna say, that looks pretty taggy. That's it. Oh, wow. Lady that's, Gaga? That's wait, I mean, uh, Katy Perry. Three or four days old, though. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty cool. Brand new. It Brand may new. not be there when the next time we come here. Yeah, and it definitely wasn't there the last time you came here, except no. maybe Ben, who lives in the neighborhood. Ben maybe probably saw, saw it. Yesterday. Sorry, Ben, we're just showing you everything you already know. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. But for the rest of you, it's something cool. So, sorry, let's see, check in on the comments section here. I love it here too, Shaylee. It's a great spot to be. Great vlog on learning French. I'm glad you liked that. Glad to hear that. Sorry guys if I'm missing your comments there a lot and we haven't really been checking super regularly. Um, but there's also, there's another brewery not far from here. I don't remember the name of it. I think it's just down here. You know what I'm talking about? No. There's like another smaller brewery. Oh la la, oh la 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 la. All right, so this, is, this bridge is another one that raises up for the canal and looks super fancy. Yeah. 
with its giant wheels. Let's not get stuck in the middle of the bridge when it goes up. That would be horrible. That would be awesome. Would it? It'd be good for your video. It would be great for my video. Let's see, you want to go over that thing? <laughs> so there's a pedestrian bridge over here in case there's a boat going by. But I'll tell you, the bridge is open so you can go through. Pont Louvert. And then it gets all fancy and lighty up here. Yeah, let's go over. Hey, I got a, I got a, fu a funny thing to show you. Over the bridge first. Okay. Just don't forget, there's a funny thing. There's a the funny bridge. thing, okay. We're don't, gonna all alarm. Don't Everyone let us forget. There, if you're thinking about going and having breakfast and turning this off, don't do it yet. Don't do it yet. 10 seconds. So this is north, that's the edge of Paris. Not far from here, you can pretty much see the edge of Paris on the other side of those bridges. And then down there is the sun setting. Look at that. Oh, I wish wow. I could take a photo of that right now so badly. I'm gonna take a photo. Dude, please do. Oh. How I wish I could take a photo right now. Um, share. Nope. There's no photo option in this. You to swear. I said shoot, didn't I? Uh, I don't know what I said either. I would believe it. That's 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 looking pretty good. Oh. There you go, money shot. You know, here's a secret. I'm not very good at. <laughs> Man, I'm just getting all the. He's engaged and he's not good at photography. What? You tell people what? I think it disconnects when we're saying boring stuff. Right, see. We're following Oliver G towards something interesting. I used feet then for you and your American the followers. We appreciate right? that. 60 feet. That's yeah. good. I just guessed it though. I don't really know about the feet. Maybe the, yeah, I'm not, I, I can't help you because I don't know where we're going. We're going just over here. Come on, guys. This is going to be our grand finale. <laughs> is it really? Oh, goodness. We're almost there. Come on, guys. Don't trip over anything on the way. Oh. I see where we're going now. That is classy. I want to get you in the shot with that. Yeah, there you go. What? Come on. <laughs> there you go. See, hold on. We got. We even. We can turn the flash on. I think. Hold on. Boom. Now we can really see it. I'm not even gonna say it in, in case there are any. No, there's no need to say it. If you're not, if you're not paying attention, then you. Here it is. There it is. Now you know how to find it. In that's case you need to get your Instagram photo for the week. That's exactly what, that's what I put on Instagram. <laughs> that, <laughs> that, putting the Eiffel Tower, I put a picture of that. That's, that's the classy stuff yeah, right there. That's it. Awesome. Okay, well, let's see. Um, I think that's going to be about it. Let's roll, rotate this guy back around. Enjoying our juvenile humor here at the end. It's so dark here. But and thank you so much for tuning in. This was about 45 minutes. That's perfect. Uh, this is a walk along Canal Smart Town. Again, this is Oliver. I'll link to him when I'm able to edit this. If you guys want to, if you're into podcasts, he's got a great one about Paris. It's all in English. Uh, if you can cut through the accent and understand him, I didn't understand anything you said this whole walk. A good blog too. I, I'd go. I'd say it's a good blog. It's, yeah. I mean, I do a good blog. Too. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's, he does a good everything. Thank you. His, his, his Instagram account is to die for. <laughs> you should definitely tune in for that. And I'll. Um, Link to Pushan as well on Instagram uh, if you want to check out his photography, great photographer. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to leave that at that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having a great Sunday wherever you are. And we'll talk to you again here in the near future. Bye.